Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of Tranny and C. I'm Tranny, I am currently in uh, Nusa Senangin, which is very close to Bali in Indonesia right now. I've been enjoying about seven days here, I've rented a scooter, zipping around, eating good food, checking out the sights, lots of beautiful beaches, friendly people, all the good things that make uh, Indonesia worthwhile. I highly suggest checking it out if you've never been here. Um, but we are here because I've got a very special uh, whiskey that I bought from the duty free today. Well, or, or I should say on the from the duty free at the airport on my way in. Um, so I landed in Taipei, Taiwan, and as you guys know, Taiwan is very famous for their Cavalan. Yes. So this here is the Cavalan Solist X Bourbon Cask, cask Strength, bottled at 57.8%. Uh, it is a thousand milliliters. And you know, I got this thinking, I am gonna just enjoy this for the month that I'll be here. Uh, uh, and guess what? It's day eight right now. And I'm gonna open this bottle up. It's a leather case, a leather pouch, and it cracks open and it is just beautiful. Here we go. Uh-oh. Doesn't appear to be very much left. Uh, I have been thoroughly enjoying the, this. Ugh. Get out of there. Sorry, there we go. Um, cool case, it comes with like a scroll and some information and a real nice box. Like I said, it's leather. But I'm not going to be carrying this around forever, so maybe I'll give it to somebody that really cares. Anyways, uh, I've been enjoying this, but I've also been sharing this with some people. At, at the uh, place I'm staying right now, I had a, a big group of uh, French people stay, and I've, I gave out a couple of drams of it to them and shared it a little bit along the way. Um, but yeah, really, really enjoyed it. I'm going to give you some details. Again, 57.8% alcohol ex bourbon cask uh let's non-chill filtered natural color normally in canada this bottle here would cost in the upwards of 300 dollars kind of thing because uh, first of all it's a uh, a liter of it and just in general it's very expensive where we are so this was in the airport around 130 dollars so i could not pass that up um let's pour ourselves a little glass here Got myself a wine glass, which is not bad. Um, here we go, if I can, I'll pop the top. There we go. And I'm just gonna dump the rest in there, why not? I forgot to actually get some, some uh, water for this review, because it definitely needs water. But that's okay, we'll, we'll drink this neat for now. I definitely find in these hot climates, it's nice to add some really nice cold water to it and it helps open it up a bit. I'd, I'd highly suggest if you are doing buying duty free, don't go overboard with the cask strength stuff because it doesn't, it doesn't open up as much in this hot climate as well. Um, I, I find it's, it's better kind of more of a room temperature situation this it's been in my room that's ac which is nice but it just it kind of gets a bit of a different characteristic to it anyway nice color on the box i gotta say this this is kind of funny uh or maybe it's on the bottle where is it it's uh cattle egret is the color so whatever cattle egret means i have no idea but one thing that is distinctive about cavalan Look, it even looks like it's getting a little cloudy. I think it's a temperature here, honestly. Anyway, the nose is distinctive about Cavalan. A very nice nose. It has a bit of a tropical kind of a feel to it. It has a little bit of that coconut dust, some dense, a little bit of that, uh, cocoa cocoa bean kind of a taste to it too there's some chocolate notes on the nose a little bit uh mango for fruit there's a fruitiness to it there's even a little bit of sea salt 
Yeah, this this nose is really really nice. Yeah, there's some this thing in the this climate just kind of has some serious it doesn't work well with the extreme heats. So, it's kind of like um when you store bottles in extreme colds, a lot of the the oils and things like that start to get um it looks like cloudiness on the bottom. So, if going from extreme temperature Temperatures changes the bottles a little bit. So uh, if you can keep them in uh, temperature controlled areas of your house, um, this glass looks a little bit gungy, but we'll do it all the same. Again on the nose, there's a touch of lemon, but it's more of a, a maybe, maybe even like tangerine. There's something more tropical about it. There's a little bit of that coconut, a little bit of the slight pineapple, Definite chocolate notes on there though. Okay, let's, let's get to the flavor here. Oh, 57% here. It's very strong, very strong. But the cocoa notes show up on the, on the palate really big. Um, it's also got like a sweet and sour kind of intro like the, on the front of the palate. Vanillas bits of brown sugars in there. Um, it is a single malt, very much in the style of a Scotch whiskey. So it has those characteristics as well. Um, nice barley sugars, a lot of, it doesn't have a lot of oak influence all because a lot of the time Cavalan, uh, it ages in these oak casks in a higher temperature at a more, like at a speedier rate. So it evaporates, the angel share is much larger. Uh, I believe it's upwards of, you know, 12 to 15% uh, per year. So a lot of these, these bottles or these barrels get dumped out after anywhere between four or eight years kind of thing. This is probably like a six year old whiskey. Okay, on the flavor again. Mm. Some of that kind of tangerine is up front. A little bit of chocolate like that, like a Terry's orange. Um, salty, a little bit spicy, like there is a heat to it um, that I think could be where I am right now too. It doesn't work well with this heat. There's nothing refreshing about 57% alcohol. Um, like right now I could definitely go for, I've, I've been obviously enjoying this bottle, but uh, I add quite a bit of water to it and it makes it much nicer. Hmm. Yeah, there's even, I would say there's even like little hints of rhubarb or something in there. On the malty side of things, it's, it's more on, on that chocolate, but, but it's really bright. It's like a, it has a um, like a really dark chocolate finish where it's or maybe like an Earl Grey tea finish where it's quite drying and it's a little bit anesthetizing for your tongue too at this percentage. Mm, really nice stuff. I think people who are afraid to go out and try new spirits and they because there are a lot of people out there like the, the number one sold scotch in the world are blended scotches still. So there's still the single malt market is nowhere near as big as the blends, but people that are into single malts even, sometimes they stick to say like a Glenlivet and they like it and they stick with it. Maybe different variations of it, but that's about it. But Taiwan and other regions of the world are putting out some tremendous stuff. India is putting out excellent things. Japan, um, uh, I think Wales is putting out some decent things too. Anyways, really nice. Go get yourself a bottle of Cavalan if it's not too crazy expensive in your area. If you can't or you don't want to spend that kind of money, I always suggest if you can find it at a local pub or a bar or a restaurant or any any establishment like that, order order a dram of it and sip on it and see if you like it and then you, you might find that it's worth buying. Um, I definitely find the X bourbon cask to be one of their best. They do some excellent sherry cask finished ones as well. 
although they are sort of hit and miss. Some are way too overboard and some are perfect and delicious. But overall, I'd say the X bourbon cask ones are really, really well made. Uh, so go out, get yourself some, click like, subscribe, leave a comment, and I will get back to you with some more reviews from beautiful uh, Indonesia. I'll, I'll probably be doing more reviews along the way. I'll be in different countries. Check out some of the videos I've been posting uh, of this trip. Anyways, cheers, and then hope you enjoy. Penny and C, drinking whiskey, describing all the flavors for you and me. Irish scotch, bourbon and rye. If they like a bottle, they'll tell you why. Subscribe on YouTube.